Welcome to Local SEO Tactics, where we bring you tips and tricks to get found online. I am producer Caleb Bumgartner. Your Google Knowledge Panel may be one of the first points of contact that a client sees for your business. In today's episode, Jesse explains how to link your company's social media accounts to your Google Knowledge Panel to expand your digital footprint and deliver more information to clients to deliver a better first impression. Find Our Podcast provides great insights? Leave us a five-star review on the platform of your choice, and we may read it on a future episode. Thank you for listening, and enjoy the show. Welcome back to Local SEO Tactics, where we bring you tips and tricks to get found online. I'm your host, Jesse Dolan. Another solo episode here for you today. We're going to be talking about a Google My Business uh, slash knowledge panel uh, topic here. And let me share my screen with everybody just to kind of show as we talk, show what we're going to be looking at here. So I've done a Google search for Intrix SEO. Intrix is the name of our agency, the name of our SEO firm. Off to the right-hand side here, you're going to see our knowledge panel, which is essentially your Google My Business listing and information, um, and then additional information too uh, that Google will pull in. One of those things that we're going to be uh, focusing on here today is the profiles uh, within the knowledge panel. Not one of the things, that's the thing. I don't know why I said it that way. I don't want to bury the lead. That's what the episode is about here today, uh, how to get Google to show your social profiles within your knowledge panel for your GMB listing. So off to the right here, you can see our knowledge panel, name of the business. We've got our Google reviews, uh, some other information. Here's a few reviews it's highlighting, uh, business description. Then you have our most recent Google posts. And then down here, you'll see this is the section where it says profiles. And for Intrix here, our knowledge panel is showing our Facebook profile and our LinkedIn profile. And so what we're going to talk about here today is how to uh, provide this information to Google, how to make them aware that these are your profiles, and how to get it linked so that they're going to show these profiles for your business in your knowledge panel. So before we dig in any further, I want to mention our instant SEO audit tool. Go on out to localseotactics.com, top right corner. Click on the yellow button. That is our free SEO audit tool. If you haven't used it before, I'll give you the quick nickel tour on what it does. You're going to plug in your web page. This is a tool that's page by page, not your entire website. Click in the page that you want to rank or you want to check how good it is optimized for a certain keyword. And then plug in that keyword that you want to check it against. Uh, the tool is going to run uh, fairly quickly, uh, a couple seconds, maybe um, a minute or less tops. And it's going to then give you a PDF with a kind of overall score, the different areas uh, of optimization, uh, a bunch of to do's, kind of a punch list for you to uh, take care of and increase your rankings uh, and better optimize your page. Check that out. You can use it as many times as you want. LocalSEOTactics.com. Click on that yellow button for the free instant SEO audit. Now, uh, let's get back to the topic of the episode here. So how do you uh, communicate to Google what your profiles are and how do you get them to pop in that knowledge panel? So uh, the first question is, what are the social links in the knowledge panel? And basically what I mean by that is, you know, what are they? Uh, what's their purpose? They're going to be links to those actual social profiles. So using our Intrix uh, knowledge panel as an example, we saw again, two listings there, one for Facebook, one for LinkedIn. If you were to click on the one for Facebook, that's going to take you right to the Intrix Facebook page. And if you were to click on the one for LinkedIn, that's going to take you to the company page uh, on LinkedIn for Intrix. If we had YouTube in there, they'd take you to our YouTube channel, right? If we had Instagram in there, it would take you to our Instagram page. Um, so these are just direct links from the knowledge panel uh, to those social profiles. That's what those are when they're listed down there in your knowledge panel. Uh, what is the benefit, you know, for you of having this? Well, number one, uh, the benefit of having it, uh, meaning in the context of that it is there, uh, the benefit is that Google understands that these are your profiles and it's going to kind of disseminate some of the information from those profiles and add it to the, the database, if you will, uh, of, of your information for your company and your entity within Google. Uh, so there is a big benefit, not for the like usability or the interaction of those links, but just by having those, the accomplishment is maybe even a better way to put it, um, of, of having those links there. That means Google understands you as an entity, understands these social profiles belong to you, and uh, it helps your overall digital footprint, right? Um, trace all back and, and give you that power and the relevancy for all of those. Um, and that's a big thing you want to, if you have information out there, 
you know, for digital marketing, if you have these resources, these social profiles, uh, it's definitely in your best interest for Google to be aware that these exist and that they're yours. Uh, the more you can feed that database, um, if, if you're doing this and your competitors aren't, right, that just gives you more uh, legitimacy, you know, maybe more trust, more authority, uh, depending on what's on those profiles and, and the types of niches that you work within. Uh, but that's, that's for me, the biggest uh, benefit by having this is the victory that you've communicated these things to Google, right? Now, on the other uh, context of what's the benefit, uh, you're giving more exposure to your brand. Uh, having those profiles down there, uh, your, your clients or your prospects are going to be seeing that you're active in these social media, uh, that you have a YouTube channel, you know, there's videos. So they can directly access this content. They can explore more about your business and things like that for further engagement, further branding, uh, further awareness. So there's definitely some benefits from the user side uh, as well for those links being there to actually uh, be explored and clicked on. Um, do you need them? No. You don't need them. Uh, you can be just fine without them. Uh, but for the reasons that we just talked about, you know, if you want to enhance your business, to enhance your listing, enhance your knowledge panel, and uh, just make sure all that is enabled, uh, then yes, you need them. And I would recommend as we go through, this is not going to be a super complicated thing that you have to do uh, for these to show up and for um, you to communicate this information to Google. So even with that, you know, even if you don't need them, this is not that hard to do within the grand scheme of everything else that's related to SEO. And um, I think the benefits definitely outweigh the uh, potential time and energy investment you may have into pull, pulling this off. Okay, so how do we add them? Uh, there's really two main ways that we've been able to add these two profiles. Uh, the first one is pretty easy. And I would, by the way, recommend that you do both of these. This isn't so much you know, a one or the other discussion. This is the two things that we would do to make sure uh, that does show up. Uh, I would kind of put this in the same vein as uh, sitemaps, uh, where redundancy is going to be your friend. Uh, we make sure uh, with all the projects that we work on, this is a bit of a, a bit of a side trail here, but it's a kind of a, um, a parallel uh, situation. Uh, a sitemap is obviously very important for your website because that's your effectively your index or your table of contents of all the content on your website, you create new pages or posts, they're gonna show up in your sitemap and you want Google to know your sitemap so it can discover that and always crawl and find uh, your new content uh, so it can get indexed and then be found in search. So in the same thing here, I'm sorry, let me back up. I didn't finish my analogy. Um, that's what your sitemap is. Now you wanna submit that sitemap to Google Search Console so they're aware of it. Um, technically you can be done at that point for communicating your sitemap. However, we like to make sure your sitemap uh, is linked to in the footer of your website, or maybe it's uh, embedded into your robot.txt file. Um, you just want to have a level of redundancy for something like your sitemap because it's so critical. So in the same way here, um, you could do just one of these two things that I'm going to explain and be just fine. But uh, for as pretty much as easy as they are, I would do them both for that redundancy. Because if you want these to show up, um, if you do both of these things, they're gonna show up for you. May not be immediate. This is all up to Google, right? There's no button to push that says show this listing. It's not quite that simple, but you do these things, it's gonna show up. Might take a week or two, might, might take a month or two in some cases. Again, this is all free. Google does this for us. Um, and so we can't complain about the timelines in some cases, especially depending on what's happening, whether there's COVID or not, if there's a new pandemic or not, their resources kind of get allocated and, and adjusted uh, for wherever needs them. But so this is an area that you're going to do this work and then sit back and be patient and uh, your profiles will show. It's just a matter of when and how quick they're going to show. So the first thing you're going to want to do is add your social profiles to the footer or uh, if you have a sidebar, you know, whichever is kind of better fit for your website, uh, you want to add them to your website in the footer or the sidebar. Now you can just do a text link. You know, you can just link, like click here for our Facebook page, um, or you can do what's, what's more common is like the icon, the Facebook logo. Uh, most themes nowadays are, are going to have some kind of built-in widget or built-in element that you can just, here's my social profiles. I'm gonna enable Facebook, I'm gonna enable LinkedIn, I'm gonna enable YouTube. Um, and then you link, you know, or paste in the link for those set profiles and it'll easily add it to your website, especially if you're on WordPress, these things are pretty common. If not, uh, you can make your own graphics, you can include them into your footer, you know, the sidebar. Um, 
there's no necessarily, you know, standard way to do this. At the end of the day, what we're looking for is a link to those profiles on your website. The second way to do this is actually to inject the uh, schema into your website. And within this schema, you want to use the same as schema. Uh, I'll put a link in the show notes uh, to the schema.org page about the same as, which will kind of give you a little bit of uh, a look for how this is constructed. Uh, but basically, this is going to live within your site-wide schema or your organization schema. And what you're going to do is leverage the same as schema, which is used to just draw relevancy. And basically, what it says is, here's Intrix. Here's the Intrix website. This entity, if you will, this is the same as, you know, here's our Facebook profile. So in that, you're, you're drawing these, um, these connections for Google or any other, you know, search entity too. We say Google because it's always Google that we're concerned about for the most part. Um, but really any other search engine that's able to parse the structured data, this schema is going to read it the same. And what we're, what we're telling it with this same as connection is this web page, this business, this entity is also this Facebook profile, is also this LinkedIn company, is also this YouTube channel. And that kind of forces them to understand and kind of draw that connection. If you can do these things, you know, link to it on your website, inject the same as schema in your organization and, uh, and site-wide schema, Google's going to find this on basically every page. It's going to be in the footer. Let's say if you did the, uh, the linking with the uh, icons, it's going to see that in the footer of every page, and it's going to pull this same as schema out of the header on every page. And uh, very quickly, they're going to understand that these profiles uh, are yours. If you do that, and if your website is indexed by Google, your pages are indexed by Google, uh, it'll just be a matter of time before Google picks these uh, these references up, these links up, and then you're going to see that added to your knowledge panel. So um, that's it. There's no big uh, other reveal at the end or anything here. Uh, it's just kind of that two-step process and uh, sit back and wait. Like I said, it could take uh, maybe a week or two, could take a month or more, um, but you're going to see that show up in your knowledge panel down there. And it's, uh, it's pretty cool when it does pop. So um, just to be clear on that, like there's no spot to go into your, your GMB listing and add these. Uh, there's no other way. This is something Google kind of automatically does if they can draw this association. If you're doing these things that I just mentioned here, and let's say 45 or 60 days passes and it's still not happening, um, you know, maybe reach out to us. We can take a look you know, and see if something was done wrong. Um, I should say too, if you're not familiar with schema um, and how to how to type up that code, you, know, you might want to use the Google uh, structured data testing tool uh, before you paste that into your website. Uh, to make sure you're doing it the right way and that doesn't have any errors because if it's uh, even though you thought you're doing it right if you're pasting it in there and google can't parse it um, effectively it doesn't exist it's it's not going to return uh, what you're looking um but assuming you do all that stuff right and it's still not working you know we can help you investigate that and just see you know where the error was or what the disconnect might be um but usually it's a, it's going to work just fine if you follow the steps that we just laid out there um so if you're interested in getting your social profiles connected and getting that showing up uh, on your website i'm sorry on your knowledge panel uh, for your business um do those and you should be in in luck all right i'm going to get here to our five star review for this episode if you haven't left us a review yet uh, we would love to hear from you uh, helps us know that we're doing a good service here that we're providing value to you. And uh, yeah, it's going to take a little bit of time out of your day. Um, but if you've been getting uh, some good value and some good insights off of our show, uh, we'd appreciate it uh, if you could let us know and let the world know uh, that you're getting some good value. Even if you don't want to type out um, an actual review with text, just leaving a star rating would be great. If you do type it out, uh, we're going to give you a shout out on the show, just like I'm going to do here for Steve. I uh, hope I'm saying it right, Steve. Uh, Steve Hemrick. Um, Steve says, always on topic and useful info for those trying to improve their SEO. Uh, short and sweet, but uh, right to the point. That's what we're hoping to do here is just kind of give good value, give good information and help everybody out for your local SEO. Um, love to hear from you. Go on out to local SEO tactics, go down to the bottom and there's going to be a link that says reviews. Click that. You can leave a review on Apple uh, Podcasts, Google, on my business, Facebook, wherever you want. Uh, we should make it pretty easy for you. Um, if you can do that, we would be forever, forever grateful for you. Not for you. Well, for you and to you. Both. It's a double dip. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning in this episode. We'll check you out on the next one.